Hello and welcome back to the latest edition of Farm Together. I did say that I would come back to this at some point and I did also say that I would show you my main big farm and it is a very big farm. So this is the one that I've opened up almost everything. Now as you can see from the map here there's these kind of brownish areas. I haven't actually unlocked these areas yet but they are very expensive. And as you can see here, these are the areas that I have unlocked and I've actually started building a few bits and pieces here. So what I'm going to do is give you a bit of a grand tour. So I'm not going to harvest anything other than the event stuff because we said we'd talk about the event. So first things first, let's just travel over to where I have the event. So this time around, it's a kind of sporting event theme. So we've had Valentine's Day theme recently where we had cotton candy with love hearts on it there's last year I remember there was a St. Patrick's Day one we've had fireworks for New Year we've had a Christmas theme one which was candy canes it seems to be as soon as one finishes you've only got about a week until another one starts up so at the moment as I say we've got these footballs it's a sporting themed one now last year I think this coincided a little bit better with the Super Bowl and I think that's why they did it but as you can see here they are and what we want to do is try and plant these up because as you notice there it says a sporty harvest and it tells me how many I've harvested and as you can see this year I've harvested quite a few and the good thing about this is that when you hit a target you get given little extras so this time around I've been given some different costumes that I could change my character into uh, I've been given a few ornaments that I can decorate my farm with and in the previous one, such as the the Love Heart one, but to coincide with Valentine's Day, there was uh, certainly last year the option of uh, getting unicorns, which were actually then part of the quest. And the good thing is that these seem to be cyclical quests. Now I've been playing this game for a year now, and as you can see, it takes a long time to save up the money uh, in order to purchase all the land parcels that you need. And uh, yeah, basically it's taken me this long and I'm still not done with it. And this is my original farm. I can take you over to have a look at some of my unicorns. So, here they are. As you can see, they need harvesting. Now, as I say, we're not actually on that quest at the moment. Um, that's finished again for another year. But uh, when it starts up again next year, which it probably will, these will then become a quest item again and it's always good to have them in and to keep them levelling up and using them throughout the year because then you get the opportunity of well, using them in the next cycle and I, I like to have groups of nine because, as you can see the tractor covers groups of nine so it's really really easy to just group of nine, jump on it water it the only problem is when it comes to animals. Yes, I can harvest nine at once. However, I have to get out of the tractor in order to feed them. So you're hopping in and out of the tractor a lot. And as a result of that, what I've done is I've set one of my side mouse buttons so that I can just click it with my thumb and jump in and out as and when I need to. So I've got another quest at the moment for getting lots of jams. I'm just going to grab some of that while I happen to be here. I am, after I've finished recording this, you're going to go back and harvest everything properly. So it is an absolutely huge farm. Um, I tend to do things on this farm kind of by season. So this is um, a great plot of land because everything on here is available in the autumn. Now some of this stuff is available at other times. These uh, graffiti cauliflowers are only available in the autumn. Corn is available in spring and autumn. Pumpkins are available in summer and autumn, and watermelons are available all year round, so as you can see it's quite easy to plant them, so I only have a couple of strips of those. And I have more over here, and strawberries, as you can see are there, that are actually ready to go, these things. They are available in the summer and the autumn. And what happens is, you plant things, but... As you can see here, anything that's kind of faded out means that you can't plant you can't plant that in this season. So, for example, this uh, Cherokee purple tomato 
only plant that in the springtime. Sunflowers is spring and autumn. White mushrooms, autumn. Soybeans, winter, etc., etc. So you can't do it. You can sort by availability if you wanted, but I just I've got so used to knowing what's available in each season that I just kind of play it now. So over here as well, I've now got every single type of house. I will show you the biggest house in a moment now. And as you can see, there's some more footballs now. With these little qu quests, these little events, sometimes things are only available in certain seasons. So the love one was quite difficult because it was only available in the springtime, which meant you would have had to have logged on several times a day as each season lasts around 17 minutes. Whereas with these footballs, they're available all year round. So it's quite easy to get all of your hit all of your targets. However, it's a very short event, and I think there's actually only about a day left on this particular event. So, taking you on a tour, I've got all my little farm hands, and they've got their plots of land that they're dealing with. I've got these big ponds. But as I said, I've started actually creating things. And what I'll do as well is, and this could take several months, just as a warning, I will come back to this once I have finally managed to... Um, fill all the space up, unlock all the spaces and done what I want to do. So what I've been doing is taking all of these items, if I go into the menu here and we go into this little present icon here, these are decorations that you can use throughout your farm. And these are some of the special items that have been picked up through events. So there was an Easter event last year, there's a, uh, Easter eggs there, uh, a little Easter bunny, a snowman, sleigh, etc, etc. Those are things I've earned. These are the things that I've had to unlock them as I've leveled up, but these are things that are available to me that I can just kind of use. Um, at the moment, things like a train station is great, but obviously I don't have enough of these tokens in order to put a train station in, but what I want to do eventually is round the edge, maybe put in a train station. So I put this little town in. You can't go in any of these houses. It's literally just a decorative thing. But I've put these in, they look quite nice. And if I just quickly jump over the wall... Ha ah, the physics in this game. In here I've put in a little campsite, and my intention is that... Eventually, coming up to this sort of line here, which I'll probably replace with train tracks, or maybe have train tracks running alongside, is I'm going to have a beach that runs the entire length of my farm that side. The alternate side I'm intended, which I haven't unlocked yet, so there's no point in me taking you over there, is I'm going to put a snow scene in there. Uh, and then either side I'm going to have these little pockets of, sort of houses, these villages, these little campsites, things like that. Now there is one other thing that I can show you, and I am making this one of my quicker gaming videos today. If we travel over. Now, you can put in bus stops and things like that, but my intention is that you'll just be able to travel around on the train tracks and on the roads and things like that once I've put all of these features in. So once I know where they are, I'll be able to put all the means of travelling in. I have put in a little tiny football stadium. There's benches and lighting there, there's proper stands there. I know it's I know the football's not central, I kind of messed up in my calculations a little bit maybe I'll sort this out at some point but um, yeah just put in a little football stadium, little hot dog stand some toilets for them to use and then you're back over to where my main bit of my farm is and this is the stuff that's making me all the money so I need to be doing this stuff in order to make all of the diamonds that I can then spend on the stuff that I want it is quite expensive. All of that stuff that I've put in, that's cost me several tens of thousands of um, diamonds to put in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is quite a fun game. It's great for just kind of whiling away the hours. You can usually have something, if you've got a spare screen, you can be watching something at the same time. So as you can see, I've got all of these numbers are the bus stops that we could travel to. Uh, anything highlighted in green here, this is part of the events. Anything highlighted in orange, so these tiny little squares of orange here dotted about. These are all parts of quests at the moment that I'm taking place in. You can see the layout of my town and all the items that I put in. Th 
things like that. This is a football stadium. So you can see I've got all this space to play with and I've just got to decide what I want to put in there once I've got enough coins to do so. Anything with a little cross on it, that's stuff that's ready to be harvested. And across the top here, like I say, this is going to be a beach scene that I'm going to be putting in. Down here, this is going to be very similar to down here. There's going to be towns, there's going to be maybe another football stadium. There's just going to be lots of little features that are going on in here. And along this bottom bit here, eventually I'm going to be putting in a snow scene. That's my plan. So, that's my farm, basically. Uh, just go back to the main menu. And as you can see, under Customize, Farmer, there's all these new outfits that I've been able to unlock that I could change my farmer into. And some of these things are things that I have earned through these quests. So you can see these football tops because it's a sporting thing. There's also tractors, different styles of tractors that you can have. You can customize those. Your pet. So I've got, got this little doggy here, but I think it's time we changed his collar. What should we do? Let's have a little bat this time. There we go. That's quite nice. Crikey. Always remember to hit save. You've got different emotes that you can make your character do when it greets people. Your farm hands, you can choose what kind of colours they're going to wear. Let's make them a bit more. Yeah, that's quite nice. A bit more spring-like. There we go. So, you've got all these things that you can do on your farm, and it's just a really fun game to play, and I just really enjoy, like I say, wasting hours just playing this game. So if you're looking for it, it's available on Steam. Um, price varies depending if there's offers on and things like that. But it's a really good game, and it is quite time-consuming. And you can set your farm to private, you can set it to be open, so you can play with other players it's far more interactive than some of the other farming games that have been available but it's really simple and easy to use and anyone can get their head around it so I would thoroughly recommend it like I say I'll be back once I've managed to decorate the surrounding area of my farm and in the meantime thank you for paying attention and letting me waffle bye